11, 11 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. You said the last digit's the, in the cadence of a phone number. <laughs> wow, did I? I yeah. I didn't mean to do that. That's interesting. Nick, you can uh, clap and we're good whenever. You you're, that's your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story old or told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. A uh, new one told story. Guys, 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 we're interrupting the podcast uh, for an important reason, and that's to talk about HelloFresh. Delicious, delicious food. Uh, every human needs to eat. Uh, me included, you included, Mook, Rudy, Kyle. We all need to eat food, and uh, the best way to do that, the best way to ingest, would be through HelloFresh. You know, after a full day of work, there's still so much to do. Some days you just want to go home, be kind of lazy, and HelloFresh lets you be lazy. Uh, it can turn busy weeknights into memorable meal times with you and your stacked ass girlfriend. Um, make some, uh, make her some salmon. Make her some Brussels sprouts. Make her some eggplant parmesan. And you could do all that with HelloFresh. I love how easy it is. I love that there's you know pre-portioned meals. They're fr- it's fresh. It's in the name, right next to hello. Um, you make hosting this holiday a joy rather than a hassle. With the help of HelloFresh Market, from crowd-pleasing charcuterie boards, who have cons giving your grade on them, to photo-worthy desserts, it's easy to add these party pleasers to your weekly order, saving you so much time. And you guys at home, you listeners, I guess you'd be listening anywhere, uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash anusfree to use code anusfree for free breakfast for life. Yes, that's right. One breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. That's free breakfast for the rest of your life at HelloFresh.com slash A-N-U-S-F-R-E-E code anus free. All right. A new untold story episode 377. 74. Fuck. We're still in the the, the god awful area code drought. How many more episodes do we need to do until we get back to an area code? It's like a long one. Like a, yeah. so, it's just not a bit. We this is a segment that we met with some people behind the scenes, and they were trying to sell the area code segment. And then we just hit a doldrum. We didn't account for the three seventy, three sixty, three seventy drought. Yeah. So we have. Uh, I have no area code, but trust me, the next one it's going to be lit fireworks. You swear? I swear. You're going to roast a mayor? Roast a mayor. Well, what's what, is there anything with this number? Three seventy four. Uh, the Pokemon sucks. That's all I remember. <laughs> wait, what's the wait? What's the three seventy four Pokemon? We're here with Titus, by the way. But let's get this Pokemon yeah, thing Titus, out of the way. By the yeah, way yeah. But let's get the Pokemon thing out of the way. Three seventy four Pokemon. <laughs> you can talk more. Oh, Beldum. Beldum. Yeah. Why don't you like Beldum? It's like a. He evolves into a pseudo legend. It looks stupid. It's nothing. There is nothing functional about See, it. I don't think appearance. you're quite understanding. It's a fleshlight with teeth. There's a hand. There's like a <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth monster hand coming out, holding an eyeball, and it doesn't make any sense. And its stats are god awful. Well, Kyle, 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 all Kyle, of Kyle, its Kyle, stats Kyle, 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 Kyle. from its rear, Beldum emits. For <laughs> that's that's the start of its biography. <laughs> from its rear, Beldum emits. It's over. It's over from that. <laughs> two foot What's tall. It it's two feet tall, 209 pounds. Abilities clear body. Gender unknown. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad looking Pokemon. But you, you guys it? don't yeah, get it. it. Beldum. The starting looks, Pokemon. What do you mean we don't to... get it? Yeah, it doesn't that looks matter. Like a, they look... weren't supposed to look cool. They evolve into You something. can still look make the starter Pokemon look somewhat that looks cool. Like a, but the functional. payoff of evolution. It looks like a security camera. That's yeah. like yeah. that's like looking at a fucking uh, a tadpole and just be like, oh, that frog sucks. But this is Pokemon when you where you have unlimited creative freedom to make something that have... looks cool, dangerous, okay. threatening. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That is their 374th design, Kyle. Do you think yeah, that's you're expecting under every... 500? They probably have more than that working on the design team. 
Nick, I'm a busy guy. I don't have time to wait for the evolutions. Yeah. Like what you're putting then, in front of me, that's what I'm judging. I don't have you just time need to fight to... real animals. We're college athletes yeah. with right. busy schedules. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> We're trying to be students and athletes yeah, at the same time. Student. We're former yeah. student athletes. Yep. Graduated from top schools in Ohio. Yep. With good GPAs. I was cum laude. All yep. right. Short. You said you had depression on a Reddit AMA. <laughs> uh, of course that's where. Of course you have depression. You're on a Reddit AMA. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and Rudy, uh, that handsome couch. Handsome couch. Quick Hell question yeah. for uh, you two and Mook. Uh, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Rudy and guys. Reed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good to meet you guys. Yes, Rudy uh, on the show. Reed, you're, you're an intern, but have you not been paid the past few months? Apparently, I talked to Tyler, your brother, who works here. Why haven't you been telling us you haven't been paid? Be transparent with us, too. It's like once every other month. <laughs> Dude, you uh, you do everything for our show. You you get paid once every other month. I'll just wake up on a random day saying you got money on the way, and it's a good day. Wait, who pays you? Uh, New York. So New, New York pays you. This is the so, state. Yeah. <laughs> like New York. Office Flavor comes. Flaves X. Yeah. Flame. So we're all paid bi monthly, and so is he. It's just a different You're bi monthly. Bi -monthly? Dad, bi -monthly? Oh, he's the other yeah, bi monthly. He's the other bi monthly. Bi -monthly. <laughs> yeah. I uh when I was freelance, I was once owed like ten grand from Barstool. What? They just kind of like wait and pile up the invoices and kind of like whenever it comes, it comes. They sweat you out. Yeah. You could probably sue sue us. <laughs> uh, you almost said them. You can sue us, dude. You can sue us. Yeah, you wanna sue, dude? Yeah, I don't exactly know who like pays me, who my boss is. I just kind of show up every day and like find empty seats and open doors. Yeah, and you uprooted yet. your life and moved here from New York. I did we got to get you a meeting or something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Well, we'll yeah, maybe so not what? money, but we'll get you a meeting. <laughs> yeah, that's all we can. Re I don't even know if hey, we can do that. that. We'll get you Titus, over. do you have meeting power? Can you set up a meeting? Yeah, how would that? I I I can't even imagine anybody taking me seriously if I sent an email and said, "Hey, yeah, I would." You take Titus so seriously? Take, yes. Take Why? He could convince me to do anything. <laughs> really? Are yeah, you sorry. Are I'm you flirting? Yeah, 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 I think you you could. You wow. could change my opinion on anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. <laughs> Titus, you come from like a pretty buttoned up sports. You were the goofball at a more buttoned up place. Yeah. And now I'm the buttoned up guy at the. Uh, goofball I don't know factor. if you. I don't know, man. I think you've deteriorated pretty quickly. I, did, I, did. Yeah, you did. I pissed my pants. You pissed your pants. I've never done that. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Oh you you would you would not uh I also wear a lot of costumes on the yak, which uh you're you're above that. Above yeah, for, like, um uh, it's funny <laughs> at first <laughs> just, and then it's it's, 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 it's yeah, just yeah, like it's if beaten if you it's... can't make any jokes verbally, yeah. That's when you resort to Goofy, goofy attire yeah. like mm -hmm. we'll, uh yeah garb or i'll be like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'll do that you know. i'll do something like that and nick will laugh and i'll get pumped there was, you, for like i think it was my second year here um i think i just asked you to make noises yeah then i was all for it <laughs> <laughs> the sound of you uh i think my favorite the your best joke <laughs> your best joke is the sound you made when you ran to that goth hooters you put that <laughs> You put uh, your foot up, and what was the noise you made? What did I do? Like, yeah. <laughs> that was your best fucking joke you've uh, ever made. That one, and there's another couple of other sounds that are in my highlight reel. <laughs> the entire Nashville vlog is yow. It's a yow video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That Yeah, that sucked. We I just, enjoyed it. The you enjoyed the Nashville vlog? Oh, yeah. That wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't very good. Um, I have nothing to talk about today. Nothing. Mm. What do we got? Well, you guys want to call it? Mm. It's a pretty good show. <laughs> yeah, we're 10 minutes in. Are we 10? Yeah. That's way longer than I thought. That's a good amount. Yeah? I think it's pretty good. The podcast started as... The, the, the name is no coincidence. It started as a new untold story. We're going to tell... We fake stories from our childhood. Yeah, so I guess we were just like, let's just take what we're doing for the blog. You did way more than I did, and just tell those stories this way. Yeah, and then we, it just it was impossible. We were workhorses in the beginning. We would meet. We were also alcoholics. 
I think yeah. we like we, we we thought of ourselves as like authors and we would go and drink every single day. I would read like the Hunter S. Thompson, like Yeah, I was trying daily to do gonzo German journalism. Coping by and convincing myself, yeah, this is how writers work. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Titus. Yeah, torture genius is uh, a <laughs> Are I, you I remember that realization where I uh Really, if like if I want to be good at this, I have to want to kill myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a tortured genius so badly, and I was yeah. neither. Yeah, right, mm-hmm. right. And that's what made me. I think that's why I was tortured because I was neither. Yeah. Tor- I tried to make myself. Yeah, tortured. I faked both of it for a long time. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I was really good at faking both. Yeah. Uh, and, uh yeah. Anyway, all right, all right. All right. Let's um, end the show. Yeah. Cool. Sorry for saying that you said you had depression on a Reddit AMA. It's okay. It's in my Wikipedia. That's fair game. It's, it's fair your, use. It's under your personal <laughs> life fair. tab. It's, it's fair could, use. When, can, uh, could you delete that out of your Wikipedia? Like, do you own your own Wikipedia page? No, dude. It's crowdsourced. Yeah, I, I think that's unethical. I think if if I'm allowed to edit my own Wikipedia, I mean, you could. Not? You like, could. You're the source. Right. But then, don't you want unbiased uh, like in a, you want the objective opinion or the, I, I guess it's not a read autobiographies yeah that's true i don't know i don't I know i should try it i should try it it's you have a pretty it's pretty lengthy <laughs> it is why don't we just uh run through it i'm <laughs> reading it right now go through the whole thing let's see mark titus your first photo isn't good that's Hold like on. i don't i got a photo i don't have a photo Oh, no, no. Oh, you're when talking you talking about like Google. on Google. Yeah, right yeah. there. Dude, I've wanted a photo on my Wikipedia so badly. I, you I feel like that's, do it. It's your page. That's reserved for only like the best Wikipedias, though. You're right. They don't just put photos on anybody. You're from Brownsburg, Indiana. Yeah. Um, Philanthropy, <laughs> personal life. <laughs> Brownsburg, Indiana. His father, a high school basketball coach, athletic director. Nothing about depression. Oh, yes. Titus disclosed in a 2015 Reddit AMA that he suffers from depression. They added the uh, they added the first part of the personal life because I think Brandon and I pointed out, I think one time we pulled up my Wikipedia on our show. Yeah. And we saw that literally the only sentence under personal life was that he used to be depressed. <laughs> that, was, that was all there had. <laughs> and we, we laughed about how absurd that was. So I think somebody gracefully added something else. Um, so no, why, why, why do I have a Wikipedia and you guys don't? Because you were, but why significant? Well, like, I don't think, and I don't you think, wrote like, a book. I don't think like Big Cat has a Wikipedia. How does that work? He doesn't. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that that is weird. I don't understand who. Part of my take does. Okay, who's running Wikipedia? One of the sources on your Wikipedia, published sources. Go go to your Mark. I want you oh, to read I'll, this. All right, go I'll to see. references. Go to your 20... I haven't read this in almost three... I haven't been on my Wikipedia in almost three, three hours. hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Go to the 23rd reference. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Look references. at the author. No! 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 Stephen Che is in your Wikipedia. Stephen Che infiltrated your Wikipedia, man. <laughs> Oh fuck me! All right, well, Mark Titus pissed his pants at work today, and that's you know what you that's know what? above your charities. In a twenty in a twenty twenty three Reddit AMA, Titus is about to reveal that he has depression once again. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! That's brutal. That's horrible, man. He infiltrated that, and he's too above your a kid again. Your uh, your the, the Club the, Trillion the tr- Foundation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. And you have some dozen stuff on here too. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Titus so. used to have a cha- Titus has the charity, but he more yeah, importantly, but more importantly, thirteen he- preseason all dozen for the twenty twenty three. You're a really season. good defensive player on the dozen, <laughs> <Yeah>. man. <laughs> you have a few defensive player of the weeks under your belt. God oh damn. man, should we address the elephant in the room? Titus talking about what? his utopia on his I Reddit. Look sick. 
Wait, what? I try. I couldn't wait for Revenge Sevenfold month. <laughs> oh, you're. <right. laughs> And I got this. I got this as a joke. Do you not have armpit and hair? And I look sweet. No, he has a lot, but it's barely there. Yeah, it's crazy. It's it defies. It's like an MC Escher. It's transparent. It makes you think. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, I think I look sweet. I think I. <laughs> you undenied. look confident. Really? You look cooler. No, I mean, you look more confident. <laughs> it, th- it makes me like the threat of chlamydia is imminent. Wait, you think I look like I fucked? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You think, do mm-hmm. you think I could get laid wearing this? Yes. Yes. I love In that you got uh, the shitty tattoos to tie it all together, too. That was, yeah. That's yeah, man. Touch. So I went out and got all these yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, they should. This is this shows why a person in West Virginia should never have two hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> ever, ever, because that's the most expensive tattoo in West Virginia, I think, is two hundred dollars. Yeah. And the, yeah. Horrible. Um. Good God. Uh, yeah. Basketball. What's the I'm, I'm not familiar with the uh, Vince Sevenfold. I know the name of I know uh, that it is a band. I they know were a that band they do I like loved metal. in high school. Right. Is it like heavy metal or kind of. Like yeah, they're like they're 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 heavy metal. Are they more like, Metallica or Evanescence? Would you say? Whoa. If Metallica on that Metall- spectrum, which Ma- they're closer okay. to Metallica, but they're like dad. Dad's like them. I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. You can pull up a photo of them and understand. They're more like Nickelback. Um, okay. I think so. They're cooler than they're more they're like, talented than Nickelback. They're younger than Nickelback. Sinister Gates, their guitarist, is one of the top Sinister You mean uh, Cordial Portal. Cor- yeah. yeah. I was trying to decide what my Avenged Sevenfold name would be if I joined. And Mike what Portnoy. What is the guy? M. Night Sh- Shadows? No, that's you can you combine it with M. Night Shyamalan, <laughs> an Indian oh, writer. Yeah, what a twist. <laughs> my words. M-, M. Shadows is the lead singer, but M is just short for Matt. <laughs> Matt, Shadows. Matt Shadows. Um but one of the guys is John Christ. But <laughs> John, Christ. John Christ. But I was trying to think of mine, and I think I wanted to be Grim, G R Y M M M. Um and I was trying to think of a last name. I think it was gonna be Buttfuck. Grim U T F U K. Grim Buttfuck. That is good. And I think I like you could Photoshop me in with those boys. It's like that's M Shadows, that's John Christ. Sinister Gates, M Butt. Yeah, uh, what am I? Who am I? Grim, Grim Butt. Uh, no, I'm not. Am I M as well? Am I just M Butt? M fuck? Grim but M, 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 gr- M dot Grim mm. Butt. Fuck. <laughs> Grim with three M's, and then your middle initial is M. M. So it's Grim, Grim, Grim M, M, M Butt. Grim fuck. M. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm glad. This is cool. That your studio has cameras. Oh, this is our studio. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Dude. You would have thought, yeah, it was. We I did just a not realized. I, th- I thought you were just into all the same stuff I'm into. I didn't. How do? You, yeah, I, no. I, what are you I'm into? Kidding. I don't know, man. D- what, Dale is, is, Earnhardt. Is, yeah, yeah, what's the Dale Earnhardt stuff? Uh, so Brandon and I went to a uh, a sports collectors convention. Uh, you'll never guess whose idea it was. Yeah, between okay. the two of us. Um, you went to the national, right? The, yeah, the the national. Yeah, yeah. It's a big one. It's the biggest. You're is it like the it, nationals, obviously. like the. The championship? They have like a, a every year they call it the national. It's like every yeah. sports card collector flies in from around the country. But you got a bunch of Dale stuff? No. So we, we were tasked with uh, trying to buy one thing while we were there. Uh, I had $20 cash in my pocket. You were tasked with buying? That was your, that was, that was the challenge? That was the challenge. To buy yeah. one thing. Yeah. And I, I don't know. We just had to like buy one thing. I don't, it was Brandon's idea. I was like, this is stupid, but yeah. I'll play along. Um, I found the the Stein, the one on the the on your left, the right as you're uh, looking at it on camera. Dale Earnhardt Stein, the as Stein. if he was Jewish. Um, <laughs> Earnhardt, Stein. Earnhardt Stein. That's, that'll be the funniest Jewish guy in the world. Stein. <laughs> I need somebody. Uh, we need to design the well. well. Yeah. <laughs> Can you go on uh, uh, AI art style. image generator? Uh. <laughs> My ex godfather has his brake. <laughs> Wait a minute. His brake from the say? car that he crashed. Like the the brake his... pad. Yeah. Your ex godfather? Yes. The one who got replaced by my new god, my current god. That's never wow. happened to anybody. Mm-hmm. You have an ex godfather? Yes. Why? Um, vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> so they- <laughs> it's a church thing. We're still friends with him. We're still cool with him. I guess in cr- Christian nomenclature, you can no longer call a man with a, a murderous felony as your godfather. 
Are you lying right now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In every but, way. Yeah. You know, yeah. Do you remember the rumor that went around when Dale Earnhardt died that they found the cure to cancer in his headrest? No. Uh, I was going around St. Vincent's. It was like a, in powder form? <laughs> I have or no what? idea, dude. I bet you, you could Google that. There's probably a Snopes on it. But yeah, Dale Earnhardt Stein. I want to I want to design the, I, uh, the paint yeah, of that car. At, at the national, everything is like ten thousand dollars. It was fucking wild. And uh I, I brought one single twenty dollar bill and we were walking around for two hours and then there was nothing I could buy. Um and then I found that thing and I was like, Wow, that's pretty fucking awesome. I asked the guy how much it was, he said five. And I was like, Five hundred dollars, come on, dude. And he was like, it's five dollars. Five dollars. It's, it's literally five dollars. Hard Stein. So that's what I bought. Uh, and then I, Brandon wanted me to put it on the desk and and leave it on the set or whatever. I did, and then people have just started sending in Dale Earnhardt. Stuff. Merch. Let's keep yeah. it going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah let's fill so up this I've, entire room. That's to the that's brick. the idea. Is I just want <laughs> with. I like Dale. Listen, I like Dale. Threes up. Yes. Raise hell, praise Dale. But uh, I wouldn't say that I was like a diehard Dale Earnhardt fan. Mm -hmm. Um, but I am now, I guess. That would be sick though if like, <laughs> like each side of the car had like a symbol of the dreidel and like he spun out or like he won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spin the block like a dreidel. <laughs> yeah. Has there ever been a Jewish NASCAR driver? I don't know. Has there ever been an Italian NASCAR driver? Probably somebody that came over from like yeah. F1. Yeah. Alon Day, like Jewish NASCAR. Alon Day, Israeli professional stock car racing, NASCAR Euro. There's a Euro NASCAR. I did not know that. Shout out to Sage. The, I thought it was Grant. the National Association of Stock Car Automobile Racing. Yeah, then Am there's I right? the Euro National. Yeah, not the ISCAR. <laughs> yeah, 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 I ask, I ask car, yeah. What, shout out to who, Kyle? Uh, just a quick shout out to Sage Karam. Karam, Karam, yeah. He was a, a wrestler that made it into NASCAR, so we, <laughs> we rally around him big time. Well, he was a wrestler? I didn't know that. You, you don't know, know who you Sage don't... Karam is. Oh, I think Sage he... Kar yeah, he, he, does he do... He's an F1 guy. He does IndyCar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bethlehem yeah. Catholic, Becca High wrestler. They said it's like pretty similar. How do you get into that? Sports. How do you get into You have to be really wealthy. I like bet. driving a car fast? You start with go-karts. Oh, I yeah? I think. I always wanted a go-kart. Me too. Never got one. Same. Oh, well. <laughs> a new untold story is sponsored, and I'm all for this, by BetterHelp. Um, it's therapy season. Whether you believe in it or not, if you don't believe in therapy, you should because you're a fool. And but yeah, that'll make also, them feel better. It's you're a fool, but it's beneficial. That's why you should believe in it. And whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you how you give to yourself. And that's so true. And the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season and do it with better help. You don't have to leave your home. I have the app. Real easy. Connection you to a guy. Yeah. yeah. Has your calendar, your journal at the bottom, face ID so your your significant other pop can't pop in and see what you're talking about. Worksheets, goals. Links you with your guy. You chat with your person. Just yeah, you know. You just chat. Get stuff off your chest. It's good for you. And it's entirely online. Um, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just have to fill out a brief questionnaire mm -hmm. to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge a lot of you guys are probably anxious and suffer from severe anxiety <laughs> and the most daunting part is having to go to a clinic speak to someone face to face you might not be able to say what's truly on your mind not with better help comfort of your own home with mm -hmm. your own phone entirely virtual Great stuff. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash new today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash new. Who's the better, who's the better also handsome basketball player from your small hometown? <laughs> Gordon Hayward? That sucks, man. <laughs> Wait, really? What? 
The, He's from there? Yeah, yeah, Gordon's from there. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Are you, oh, yeah, Gordon's from there. Yeah. Yeah, Are you guys around Gordon, the same yeah. age? Uh, he's two years younger than me. Yeah. We had a, my high school had a legendary run. Well, were you we, guys we had a lot team? of professional athletes come through my high school. It's a public. It's Brownsburg. A public, they're yeah. good wrestling. But program. Brownsburg has 21,000 people. <laughs> what? Yes, it does. Yeah. Which is something everybody knows. It's about the same um, size as Wheeling. Yeah, we had uh we had Lance Lynn I went to high school with. Uh he he pitched uh he's still in the majors pitching. Wow. He, he was an all star, won a World Series with the Cardinals, uh was just with the White Sox. I don't know where he's at now. So were Dodgers, you not maybe? the best basketball player at your school? No, no, I wasn't. Uh oh, wow. Tucker Barnhart is a professional baseball player, major league baseball player. Um, Drew Storen used to be a major league baseball player. We were all in high school at the same time. Yeah. I was like the, when I was in high school, I was like the 15th best athlete in the school. Really? Yeah. I figured if anybody goes D1, yeah. regardless of playing time, they're the best athlete in their school. Yeah. The most embarrassing I've been, like a couple weeks ago, our athletic director, ours, Wheeling Parks, our yeah. high school, reached out to me with a text like saying about how I'm they're willing to induct me into the hall of fame. Oh, because Whoa. you were talking about it on the yak it, because so many people from the yak, the, the audience emailed the school. Why don't you rest. accept? I felt bad. And I was like, uh, cause it was, I have to like go to the ceremony. Ye obviously. And I'm like, I'm, I said, listen, like I'm not gonna, fly out there for that it's dude you good. have to it's all good and then he did, now hold on respond. did he say we're inducting you or did he say we're willing to entertain the idea he says i'm reaching you. out to you to talk about your to talk about yeah. inducting you into the hall of fame so it sounds like if you're not into it they're not going to do it which means i express it feels some like a level of disinterest yeah in <laughs> in that so they didn't get back to me he texts you Text. Yeah, I guess he tried to call me like 12, 12 times. <laughs> I guess I he tried to call. I guess. I don't answer numbers. I need a name and I need to know the name well. <laughs> you've never picked up one of my calls. A few times. Yeah, you've <laughs> never a picked up a few times. Total. <laughs> Have you ever called Nick first? No. I don't call. I'll text. Okay. I don't that's know if you've texted. That's like first. a scary. That's a nightmare situation. I have to call. <laughs> yeah. When's the, the last funniest? time? Oh, when's, yeah. when's the last time anybody in this room has called someone? Other, I guess you did it on the yak with the with the fire department. But like, you've called someone just to like shoot the shit and catch up. And like, how you been, man? Oh my god, someone like two thousand four. Somebody called maybe? you to shoot the shit. Oh, I, yeah. oh my god. It, who would be the funniest person I could FaceTime right now and just try to shoot the shit with? Snetty, Dave, Portnoy. Dave. Yeah, Dave. I was thinking Hannah Cook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, try it. I don't want to. No, yeah. Please. To. Don't have her phone. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I want to hold the phone too and point it at you so it's like hey, not even up? your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, yeah. I'm not holding the phone, but I want to be close enough to where I can have both hands up, but I don't know. Oh my God. Now you have to FaceTime. You have somebody. to do it. Um, yeah, I do have to FaceTime somebody. Mook, but... give Nick her number. Yeah, Mook. Yeah, I got you. I'll, I'll airdrop that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know who who would be funny to call. Hanukkah. Do you want me to call the uh give me the uh the athletic director's number? No. <laughs> All right. No, I'm afraid, man. Titus, you have any uh celebs you're chill with that would work? No. Don't athletes? you know the guy who know. disappeared from the ugly tuna? Oh. Brian Schaefer. Yeah. Wait, were you you weren't? He was there. there. He was twerking. He was yeah, blacked Brian out. Schaefer. So it could have been I, I you. Know, I know what happened to him. You did what? No, it was under construction, <laughs> dude. I used to live right next to the other two. Were you? Yeah, we, we've talked about this off air, right? Like, I, you, we were obsessed with. I'm obsessed yes, with it, yeah. and you all should be too. Yeah. This is my favorite disappearance story. Really? Yes. I don't yeah. know who knows it, it best. It, to right, recap it was 06. It. We can all do it together. Yeah, I'll start. It was 06. Yeah. I'll repeat. Uh, 06. I think it was like 2006. Yes, I want to say. And there's a bar in Columbus off of the Ohio State's campus, popular amongst the college kids. I think it was in a mall. It, uh, it, it, the old one. Was yeah, not. it was. It was Gateway. It was it, a mall. It, would not be correct. It'd be more of like a. It was a conglomeration of bars. It was yeah. to the. It was so a not a mall at all. But there was also a movie theater across there. there. Was you a took movie an theater. Ele an escalator up, and it was the Ugly Tuna and a movie theater. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Bar. But, guy. Mall adjacent, we'll say. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course we'll do that. <laughs> and then um 
med student, unfortunate, um, or maybe not. Um, we don't know. He may be in a better place right now. Yeah, on Earth. Uh, yeah. We don't know where he is. He might be alive. This um, dude went up. A med student mm -hmm. went up. The escalator. Yep. Yes. Walked into the bar. There's footage of that. And never left. Just never left. Never left. Gone. Never, never left. left. At a place called the Ugly Tuna. The Ugly, Ugly Tuna, Tuna Saluna. Saluna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only, the only other exit, other than that front door where they had the security camera on it was like under construction yeah there was no way out so yeah there that was there was only one but you could have used the construction exit as like a fire exit if you had to i guess but they they had that all closed up yeah they yeah and there were some parts under construction so a lot of people think he got like stuck in a wall somewhere yeah right theories range from human trafficking to stuck in a wall to as run kyle away. alluded to yeah. uh he just ran away he was just like mm. fuck this life med I'm, school yeah it's crazy yeah was like i'm out you were there at the same time no, I got there the year after. My my freshman year, though, another crazy story, Ohio State campus. Uh, kid got cut in half on an elevator. Oh, oh yeah. What? That was my oh freshman God. year at the dorm, like, right down the street. Like, right over there. Uh, it was in the dorm? Yeah, dude. They were, they, they, everyone's on the elevator. Um, it's overloaded. The elevator, like, the doors are open, and then it, like, starts to, like, go slowly down, and a guy's, like, drunkenly tried... The, the elevator was, like, frozen, like, halfway oh. in between floors. Oh, fuck that. And a guy's, like, climbing out, and then it, like, falls down and cuts him in half. Fuck yeah, that. that is so horrific. And that was... That was like right after Brian Schaefer. And I remember like people really weren't into Brian Schaefer anymore. Like it kind of Brian, Brian Schaefer became back and to the his guy at that point. became yeah. bisected by an elevator. Yeah. yeah I'm going to <laughs> avert my attention. Yeah. My, my, obsession. and I was the guy like showing up at, you know, like the cafeteria and I was like, new Brian Schaefer lead. You guys here? And they're like, we don't give a fuck. Guy just got cut oh, half by an elevator. Like that. Yeah. A little levity in the situation. Yeah. Say someone that happens to someone and you're on the, like the detective team. And it looks like a perfect bisect. Do you measure to see, like, maybe it is exact, <laughs> like exa oh, exactly in half? Or do you just... Curiosity. Yeah. I'm curious if uh, it's the perfect it's bisect. Perfect cut. Mm -hmm. um, I, when I was a freshman, my buddy, a dude I made friends with, like, he lived picture on... picture you as a freshman. Oh, that guy died, by the way. I forgot that. That uh, part of the story. Fuck. The guy that got cut in half. He did die. <laughs> okay, now I'm sorry. Almost every yeah, single time. time. I, I anticipate a lot of people tweeting at me like, "What happened?" To <laughs> yeah, him? he died. He died. He did That's die. Fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, I uh, there was a uh, there's two campuses at WVU, and I was drinking on the other campus that I didn't live on. And my buddy Tyler, who I'd met, he's like, "Dude, I have an extra room. I have an extra bed in my room. I live alone in the dorm. Crash at mine." I found out his roommate, like that he didn't know, killed himself. Oh. And I was like, I, "I slept in the bed." Oh, <sighs> what do you mean you found out? Oh, during the season of the school year. Uh, the so, apparently the previous semester, I didn't know Man. about it. You slept in the bed of a guy who had just killed himself. Not just, but had, but not oh. even like his. It was. I don't think it was a, the sheets or anything. I imagine yeah. those were all taken out. None of his belongings were there. Crazy. Kent State had a guy who hid from a SWAT team in a, a big traffic cone, and then. He was referred to as Coney because it was 2012. <laughs> and I think that made some waves in like some Facebook communities. And that was our big thing my freshman year. Damn, that's so <laughs> fucked. Coney. Yeah, look it up. Mo uh, Coney with a C, 2012. And then maybe add Kent State just in case. No way. Were you friends with Coney? It was, it was kind of a sick picture. 2012. Steve. Any yeah. Coney 2012 Google. Oh, there he is oh, with God. the kneeling down. You see his le his jean legs. Oh my God. You see it? That was the highlight of my five years, six years. Oh my God. And they're making memes of him with the impact font. Dude. Coney, did you, was he like a legend? Yeah. Like, but that sucks because we're, is it like Banksy where there are a lot of people claiming to be Coney? Yeah, me amongst you, there was you no one who wanted to be viral in 2013 12 than me really i would i would stay i would look up pictures of someone falling through a like a college lecture hall <laughs> and like tweeted at ksu problems and that was like the first time i got a hundred favorites really yeah i i remember you used to you used to keep a razor scooter in the back of your car yeah pink one just funny so you could you would hit curbs and flip over the handlebars yeah 
Uh, I found the guy. <laughs> yeah, he went by the name. T- you, whenever you're on the scooter, you had people call you Tyrone. Tyrone. <laughs> the, you, the, you did. You were kind of a whore for virality. For it, loved it. Loved the tension. What was your first the, viral tweet? Oh, oh, sorry. I keep, I keep fucking this up. No, go you're ahead. not. No, no. What was your first viral uh, tweet? No, you go first, you go and first. then I'll give you the first 100 viral tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Coney posted 11 years ago on r slash funny. <laughs> Kent State College Fest 2012. Call, as, um, I can talk for hours about College Fest 2012. As told by the guy in the cone, his first sentence is, so I will begin this tale of epicness in Circle K, the place where I had traveled to purchase my Many second case of PBR of the day. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Dude, everybody wanted to be Tucker Max. I will begin this tale of epicness. <laughs> I, hello, <laughs> uh, hello, r slash funny. Wait, he it actually said Posting that? your own story on r slash funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I googled it. That, that was like the first thing that popped up that I saw. Anyways. Yeah, that was uh, my first Instagram picture. Was the calm before the storm? Man. Wait, yeah, Titus, have you ever seen Kyle's Instagram? Two K twelve. Let me put it on your story. <laughs> You're gonna love it. <laughs> KB no so. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. College Fest. Yeah. Wait, your your big yeah. festival is just called College Fest? So I only had it my freshman year because yeah. at the end, like everyone started uh, going like Lord of the Flies and like throwing <laughs> bottles at each other's heads, eating each other, they, freestyle rapping. <laughs> Did uh, they have to call the National like Guard? Zooted was a popular like trend, like being zooted. What what how, what did you have to do do to be zooted? I don't know. Rudy, have you ever been zooted? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I think you're too young to have ever been zooted. What are you? Your first at? IG post is from College Fest 2012. That's yes. what I'm saying. The, this exactly. Was like yeah. The, this Holy was shit. The I, most iconic day of my life. Was that that was the, and you One saw of that three IG posts. Is- <laughs> then the SWAT team came and like started throwing like grenades, <laughs> grenades at us. <laughs> did you unironically Someone post this? Up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, this is like the the most amount of people I've ever seen on one street. The picture doesn't do it ju- just. <laughs> it's, one, it's one backyard. It looks like a huge party that I'm at. And can I'm you, at the top. Can you identify any of the people? So wait, you're not in this photo at all, are you? No. You just took I just it wanted to show off that I was at the party. At a party. And you, yeah, College Fest 2K12. The dude in the enormous top hat has grabbed my attention the, on the left. With the raincoat, yeah. And headband guy. Was Legendary. going to a major like school like that big for wheeling itself? Like, did you guys have a lot of friends that went to like fun party schools? I didn't, by the way. What yeah, but it was still like fought, like you were wrestling there. <laughs> Wait, so what are you asking? Like making it out of wheeling. Oh no, no. I was like two hours away. Yeah. Okay. yeah nice representation. A lot of diversity. In this I've picture, noticed by that. The way. A lot of Cleveland boys. Very progressive of a Akron boys. college fest. You three posts, two mine, like, and two of them have minorities. Uh, yeah. I've told people about this. What? <laughs> <laughs> told people about what? My minority ratio. Like I'm two, three for three, probably. No, I don't see one at our high school dance. The prom one. But what? Home- you did a throwback Thursday. Was <laughs> was this when you were trying to be funny or were you trying to be cool I took shit tons I didn't take ecstasy I'm no but you're ass. really fucking sweaty yeah have you ever seen a sweatier guy in that's that second very sweaty mm-hmm. you're wearing dark colored clothes and you can still see the sweat you're sweating you through like you're... royal purple yeah <laughs> very hard to do <laughs> 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 you done talking about your yeah, Instagram that's, that's enough you ever going to post again no it's It'd be weird. It'd be cool if like you had it, you posted like your next post was like your kid. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 All right. I'll, I'll promise. Yeah. First kid is getting posted. Yeah. But like, be yeah. But it's like yeah. a picture of you. You're doing the thing where you take your shirt off and you got the skin to skin contact. Of it's course. like, a, it's like a very like, <laughs> yeah, or if you have like a white. premature yeah, baby, yeah. it's like your yeah. finger and he's yeah. like gripping. Yeah. The, very sentimental. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, all those are always in the woods. Like you're just with your baby in the yeah. woods and it's black and white. <laughs> and the caption <laughs> is your the heart hands emoji. And yeah. just, that's all. <laughs> My world. Yeah. And you put the baby's name, but you italicize it for some reason. <laughs> or you, you, you do like a really long one. Just be like, yeah. I always thought like I was only the only person I could really care about. And then in an instant it changed. 
<laughs> it's crazy. None of us have kids. You think statistically? Mm. Yeah. With all the fucking we do. Exactly. Yeah. At yeah. Some point. Well, I was thinking more that we're all 30 plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I did the math the other day, and I f I realized that my dad had my siblings when he was like twenty four, and that fucked me up for our whole hike. My parents were married at twenty two, had me at twenty three. See, that just fucked me That's up. Wild. You were on a hike. I was on a hike with my dad, and I did some mental math, or no, I didn't even do the mental math. He was like, "Yeah, I was twenty four when I had James," and I was like, "What the?" F at that time, I was still in college. And Are I was your older, parents getting on your case? And I was older than him. No, my dad doesn't give a <laughs> my shit. My mom's getting my really mom. My, my mom. My mom doesn't want to overtly get on my case. But I can sense, I can sense it. I'm the oldest though, and I'm the last Terrainy. Like there's four of us in the U.S., and that's just my family. And so you have a duty and an honor. My, yeah, like my ancestors have survived every war, and, <laughs> and then it's just they ended up being a podcaster that likes to dress yeah. up. <laughs> this is where it ends. <laughs> this is where it ends. Yeah. <laughs> there's four I of you. Have kids. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'd be a good dad? Yeah, I think you'd be a great dad. The, one of the best. I was on Wake Up Mincy. I don't know if that's gonna is that still gonna be a Probably show? Not by no, the time this by the time this airs, it's been long. It's been wiped. I, I was on the second to last episodes of both runs of Wake Up Mincy. <laughs> you, you're the curse. Yeah, you're the, I'm grim the Grim Reaper. Reaper. Well, no, he it's self inflicted. Um, you're like I, if the Grim Reaper him, went up to someone who was like, and you were just hanging out, and both times they happened to just die, and you're like, is this me? Like, yeah. I just want to kick it. I, uh, but I asked Mincy if I would be a good dad. He'd be like, I know you'd be a hilarious dad. I'm like, that's the worst thing yeah, you that's could not say. A, yeah, that's. You want to be a hilarious yeah. uncle. Yes. You want to yeah. be a hilarious No, dad. not a hilarious dad. That's not, there's no mug that says world's funniest dad. Yeah. That's just a bad dad. It's a bad dad. Yeah. yeah. You've raised a dickhead kid. Mm-hmm. Almost certainly, if you're a funny dad. Right. Or a funny yeah. dad is absent as well. Yeah. Because you can't be funny raising a baby. Nobody's ever been funny with a baby, right? In their hands? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like like Danny Tanner was not funny. He was the worst. Not sucked. funny at all. He sucked. Yeah. Uncle Joey, funny. Funny yeah. as fuck. Like one of the so funniest funny. dudes ever. So funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what, what did you like about him? I would see him like live. In you would theater. go see if someone him now uncle joey would you see him with Cole, like the, doing the beaver? dave coulier yeah i would see dave coulier now the song you ought to know by alanis morissette's about, about him about him yeah it's about sucking his dick in a movie, in a movie theater. theater yeah that's crazy two canadians yeah yeah your dad makes me laugh nick does he yeah doing what Oh, he's a funny guy. We went out to we went out to get beers that one oh, time. Oh yeah, my dad. Yeah, yeah my dad's a funny a, guy. He's Your a dad, very funny dad. That's a funny dad, but yeah. he wasn't a funny dad growing up. You wouldn't lead with that though, would you? You wouldn't say like, you "Here's my funny dad." Yeah. This... Yo, what's up? I'm Nick. This is my mom. This is my funny dad. Yeah. That's funnier than straight dad. <laughs> yeah. This is my God funny is. ass dad. This is my funny dad. This is my funny fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> I might just like introduce people in my life as like my funny this is my funny buddy kyle and then it puts so much pressure on you yeah. like, that would be so pissed. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious mark but that's how like black funny people name themselves yeah uh, they're, funny marco they're like social Drewski media too funny yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. but they're all like they all blow that out of the water yeah they're all are funny yeah, yeah. well i what would i, I kind of want one of those names <laughs> Nick, make you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Letter U yeah. with Nick an oon lot. <laughs> yeah. Nick, make you laugh. <laughs> yeah. LOL, Nick. Yeah. KB, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Titus got the giggles. <laughs> yeah. Titus. Uh, um, Titus gives the giggles. Titus gives. <laughs> Titus be goofy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Titus B. Goofy. Titus B. Just one letter B. B yeah. is my middle initial. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Titus B. Goofy. Mook no, make you separated smirk. by hyphens. <laughs> Titus hyphen B hyphen Goofy. Yeah. G O O F I. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing if KB Haha is available? It is. Uh, Kyle, look at my fucking cranium right now. What do you see? You've got Haas on your head. <laughs> yeah. Haas. I just. For the podcast listener, I flipped my hat around uh, and I made 
made that sound for that. To reveal the Haas logo. I reveal the Haas logo. Uh, cool I wear logo. this hat. I wear the ever living shit out of this wear hat it all the time. And does it look worn? No, it looks brand no, new. No, it's it's the it's breathable. The material is great. I love the sweatshirts, the t-shirts, high quality. They look good. I'm not tugging on it to so I, you know you're you're it looks good on you for a, a billion wares, probably more. I love um, their crew necks. And the, the guys who started this company are cool as hell, if that is any more of an incentive to buy their products. They actually, personally. they actually DM'd us, and they commended the Anus listeners. They sold they out did. of these rope hats the first run. There should be some more coming right. out soon. They're part of the community, so if you have any ties like in a community sense to us, then buying one of their products would be huge for us and them. Yeah, they're great guys, and you guys can go to bethehoss.com. Uh, you can check out their leisure wear, the athletic stuff. I, I'm i probably more leisure. You're probably the athletic side of that. Use code Barstool, B-A-R-S-T-O-O-L, like the company or the seat, uh, for 20% off the whole store at B and be the Haas today. Be the Haas. Are you, do you speak? <laughs> you poaching it? The, on Instagram. It's yes. Like, it, not yeah, on dude, Twitter? Have, have two streams. This is for your... Yeah, you're, dude, you're have funny. a great about for your, your funniest IG posts. <laughs> <laughs> Bangers only. And the other one's a little more serious. <laughs> I guess just, okay. we should start doing skits. Like, like managers at McDonald's be like. <laughs> what, what do they be like? I think those take off. Yeah, That's they do. Good. They go crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. It's all of TikTok. I'm, I'm sitting on Nick Terrani photography, and I was just going to post pictures I took of you, Kyle, but I've never done anything with it. <laughs> Man. Speaking of which, what you gave us cameras. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gave the guys tasks of using a digital cam. Uh, I gave them all a disposable camera. Oh, nice. How many photos do you have left on it, Kyle? I took three. What the fuck? <laughs> it's been a week. It's, it was hard for me to like walk around New York and like muster up the guts to like take a picture of something. That's, in the, most fo that's the most photographed city so, like, in the world. People were walking around. I I mean, I wanted, everything I wanted to take a picture of was like people's like purple shoes <laughs> and I got one. You got a pair of purple shoes. No, I got a picture of my, um, the bathroom key at the Chicago office that I found in my backpack covered in creatine dust from a pill. <laughs> I think it'll, and I put it in a cool background. So, okay. When you get that disposed. Of. Yeah. We'll put out a photo book. Uh, Titus mostly sports has taken off. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm not at liberty to. Uh, actually, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to spoil it. I don't what? Spoil it, but we're working on a collab. I um, heard about that. Yeah, we I got heard a collab about that. in the works, and uh, I don't think I can disclose yet. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's big time. What's it's been your like? Time. What's been your biggest adjustment from like uh, real media to here? Uh oh, that's a, that's actually a great question. Yeah, I didn't even mean to yeah, do what that. The hell? <laughs> We can talk about Jewish Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, I, know, I was going to say, like, <laughs> probably, yeah, that, yeah, was probably that I don't get asked questions like that anymore. Yeah, that yeah. Was, uh, so, um, like, prior to Barstool, you, were, you had a journalistic career. In the, the, big, the biggest adjustment is that I do feel like there's, like, no room whatsoever here for, like, anything that's not funny. <laughs> like, if you're, like... <laughs> um, have you like, seen the majority of yeah, our content? No. <laughs> not ours, but... <laughs> I'm Nikki. <laughs> Wait, what am I? Nikki, Nikki, make you laugh. Nick, make you laugh. Nick, make you laugh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like there are times I want to talk about basketball and I'll, I'll slip into like serious mode where I'm not trying to split an atom, but I'm just kind of like, here's what I'm seeing. And, uh, and I'll be right. And I just get a lot of feedback. That's like, dude, I didn't laugh once. I think you just said <laughs> not funny. I'm glad yeah. you said that. Yeah. Cause once you get like tw 20 seconds into a serious discussion, like yeah. you, you feel like you're fucking up. Yeah. That's exactly what that bar. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Brandon and I got, I've got twist. We've gotten into one like serious, legitimate argument on the show and it was over the college football playoff, Florida state being left out. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just like shifted into like very serious Florida state mode. be left out would yeah. there be their black funny. Name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, sh I, I, I had exactly what you just said. Like I shifted into serious mode and I just caught myself in the back of my mind. I'm like, this isn't, what you're supposed to be doing you yeah have to, you have to make a dick joke now which i hate we gotta yeah. like, i listen overcome. to serious yeah. stuff more than i, listen I love to funny serious stuff. Stuff. yeah i love serious people who throw in humor more than yeah funny yes. people who refuse 
Yeah, and that was kind of my lane for a long time. Was like I was a, I would talk about basketball seriously, but then every so often I would use an analogy that like was off the wall. And people yeah, and like, you had Whoa. shaggy hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it would catch you off guard. And uh, yeah, I, I've had to like flip that now. So now I just feel like I don't I have know to though. I don't know if you a do jackass who every so often is like. I don't trust Creighton's defense. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> you know I mean? Like that's that's my new rule is yeah. I pepper in the analysis instead of the yeah. other way around. Yeah, because I guess like you started mostly sports and college basketball wasn't happening. So now you're gonna be have to be talking about college sport uh, basketball yeah. on here. Right. Yeah. Are you afraid? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm yeah. Well know. you also have the Mark Titus show as well. Yeah, dude, it's very confusing. Wow. Yeah, so are you more, you're more serious on that, you'd say? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm way more serious on that. It's, uh, yeah. I think you need a stage name to separate the two. I think, uh, yeah. You, so on Mostly Sports, right. you need to be something else. You need to be a character. Yeah. yeah. Is there so any other that. city, like Creighton basketball to the city of Omaha? Is there anything that, major city, one big sport? Um, College. No pro. Syracuse. Mm. New City York. of Syracuse to Syracuse basketball. Yeah. Um, Are they lumped in with Buffalo though? How I think it's a separate metro. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably like, pretty close. Yeah, I don't know if Syracuse counts as a full blown city. Like I mean, Syracuse is still going to like shut down on Bills games. What, what, like, right? yeah, like obviously, know. like Columbus, would... Ohio is Ohio State. Is the that... crew keeps on winning, man. But that's such a big can. city. Like, yeah, there are like a million people. Yeah, they deserve a. What about yeah. Gonzaga? Gonzaga Spokane. to Spokane. Oh. Yeah. Gonzaga. Good point, Rudy. <laughs> what, did you just say that? <laughs> what, did you just say that? That was insane. Are you what? fucking no way. serious, man? Did you just say that? <laughs> Wait, Fuck. Is that real, man? I was trying to see where Syracuse was, and I thought of Gonzaga. Fuck. Uh, uh, That's tough. <laughs> That's so tough. That dude. was Mere insane. Mere not even seconds. Milliseconds. Really? Yeah. Shit, dude. I, I, was, I, I was trying to see to, where Syracuse was. I didn't even get to the Z in Gonzaga before you started saying Well, okay. Syracuse is not that close yeah, to Buffalo. That. Is it not? Um, it's actually kind of close, but not that close. You know one, uh, Providence. Yeah, Providence, they basketball. love Providence basketball in Providence. Um, uh, Kentucky, yeah. the Wildcats. Yeah, Lexington. Lexington. Yeah, they yeah, are. yeah. They Shit. Are. So there are a lot, as it turns out. Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah, but they have Kansas City kind of close. Are you yeah. a big enough diehard Ohio? Like Papa John was rooting for Louisville. Yeah, and then he switched over to Kentucky. Would I switch allegiances? Yeah, if the if the money was right. If you said the n word <laughs> on a call, <conference laughs> <I> said- <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's the funniest recourse for like, yeah, I got caught saying the n word. I root for Kentucky yeah. now. <laughs> it's a great hypothetical. I'll, I'll I'm gonna take this. What to team would you root for if you said if, the yeah, n word? <laughs> what team? Oh, would this you is my n word team. <laughs> 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 People have AFC and NFC teams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Just in, in case it ever slips out. Or well, not slips out, because I mean, it's like, <laughs> there's no chance it would ever slip out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think mine would be the Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> what about yours, Kyle? Like pro team? Yeah. Across the board? Hawaii? <laughs> yeah yeah mine's tampa bay lightning for sure for oh that's yeah. a really good yeah, one tampa bay mine's lightning. tampa bay lightning too yeah me Fuck. too i love their Fuck. goal song <laughs> dude what if, if we boiler. just we should get everybody that accidentally says the n-word to root for the tampa, tampa bay, bay lightning, lightning. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody's just like wearing the shirt you're like oh buddy <laughs> so, <laughs> that's code stay for, away from me that's code for he said the n-word you're like do you hear about uh you heard about jack right he's a big uh tampa bay lightning he's rooting for the lightning <laughs> yeah. whoa lightning. really Jesus. Oh, fuck. Good God. Did he keep his job? <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, he really roots for the lightning over there. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Can we keep that in? Keep yeah. that in, yeah. yeah. You guys right. you lived in Columbus. Yeah. You both lived in yeah. Columbus. Any uh favorite spots? <laughs> Chipotle on Fishinger Road. Uh um, There's a nice uh, big booty Latina woman that used to uh, double the, up. Contradictory. 
I mean, not concrete. Yeah, okay, yeah redundant. Okay, yeah, Show yeah, me yeah, a tiny redundant. booty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you got like, and on my mouth will water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can you Google tiny booty Latina? Tiny yeah, ass, just gonna be like, no did you mean ass fat ass, ass Latina? Inverse ass. Do you mean quaking ass Latina? 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 Yeah. Flat Latina? Uh, Los Gauchos. Taco oh, yeah, spot. Bullwinkles. Yeah. Bullwinkles would serve booze to a sixth grader. I know. I witnessed it as a 25 year old. You were 25 in Bullwinkles? I did go, yeah. And the the bouncer was like, I can't let you. I can you were barely, too old. I can barely let you. You had a fake minute. driver's permit to get into Bullwinkles. <laughs> I like Varsity Club on campus. Uh, never been. The uh, Varsity Club asked me to. They, they're they're one of those places that uh, they're for the alums. It's the, it's like the Ohio State alum bar mm-hmm. where like you know the 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 dads that are in their fifties. That's the spot they go back mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. I I also go back to it because. Uh, it's a place that has all the signed memorabilia all over the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They asked me to sign something. So what? I I signed a picture for them. They put it like if you go to Varsity Club, as soon as you walk in, my picture is like all, right by the bar off to the right. And uh, I I had gone to Varsity Club. This was a while back. I, I had seen that picture. I lost my mind. I was, it's one of my favorite spots. And I'm an alum. So I was like, this is fucking awesome. I have a place at Varsity Club. Or I have a thing at Varsity Club. Uh, my girlfriend who... My current girlfriend, the first one of the the first time I ever took her to Columbus, we were going to like an Ohio State game, and I tried to like slyly pick a bar to go to. Oh yeah, and <sighs> it was it was like we should grab a drink before oh, the no. game, right? No, <laughs> you don't. Like we should, right? Like I think we should get there. Like we shouldn't just go to the game. Like we should go get a drink somewhere, right? <laughs> She's like, well, you would know where we should go, and I was like, well, there are so many options on campus. Yeah. You know what would be great is Varsity Club. Yeah, we should. That's actually kind of okay. close to. The, yeah, we should go to Varsity Club. <laughs> um, we walk into Varsity Club, and I look over to the right where my picture is hanging, and there is a massive bush that they have put right in front of the picture. You can't no. see any part of it. And I spend the next two hours, like I guess it wasn't that long, one hour rear- before the game. <laughs> yeah, like trying to like rearrange it the so bush. she could see it. Never saw it. Never saw I, it. You're like I betting dudes you in a pool. It's like, yeah. yo, if you make this, you have to go lift <laughs> yeah, that bush. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh don't want to yeah. like yeah. do this to you. I have a signed piece of memorabilia and Columbus too. You do? Yeah. You do? Yes. What? Uh, there's a place called Gresso's, an Italian restaurant, and they do Ohio Valley night. They serve <laughs> DiCarlo's pizza. And they serve mm-hmm. Coleman's fish. Our uh, two once, best foods. Yeah, once Wheeling. a week. They're from Wheeling. And I went there and they had a Wheeling Park Patriots football helmet. And I was like, yo, I went there. I was just talking to the waitress. She was like, you want to sign the helmet? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was signed football helmet. Wait, it's, it's there now. Yeah. In That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we got to like get one of our, get someone to go and piss on it or something. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it was like a dare. We should just sign shit. We've like, I want to, I want like a signed Patriots helmet in a restaurant somewhere with my name on <laughs> New it. New England Patriots. Yeah, signed yeah. New England Patriots helmet. Yeah. That feels like a challenge on the shows. You divvy up certain cities and you all have to like have a sign try to try to find a restaurant that will display a signed piece of memorabilia in that city i feel like you've done enough for ohio state to where like some restaurants have to have you like holding up slice of their pizza right like on the wall with like yes yes and no because like ohio state has a ton of like actual celebrity an actual great athlete it's almost too big right it's too too big yeah like i'm a nobody if i'd gone to a different school maybe i would reach that level if you went to a basketball game could you get courtside tickets yeah for okay. sure yeah west virginia um, wvu doesn't acknowledge wvu barstool won't follow me back no yeah, we have our high school has a barstool that won't follow yes me back. <laughs> there's a wheeling park like, high school the west virginia has like rivalry barstool accounts yeah that they talk shit on each other with <laughs> i think like we did a video in Wheeling and the other Barstool accounts were making fun of it. Like, look at these gay guys in your town. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They did, had John no Marshall High School Barstool. Yeah, was talking shit on us. That's okay. I got, was it the Cavelli Center? Yeah, yeah. The uh, That was like two of the most depressed, yeah. depressing worst days of my life happened there. Is that the new gym they built? Like, did, did it feel new when you were in it? Do you remember? I, I just remember. I think it's yeah. new. I think it's it the may new have been. Yeah, it was where the wrestling duels happened. Yeah, and I wasn't a starter, but I started some matches, and I would go against Ohio State, the Ohio State guy who was a four-time NCAA champion. Oh, uh, Logan Steber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, since I didn't wrestle in that many duel matches, my whole family would come. 
What what does being a starter mean in wrestling and coming off? How do you come off the bench? Yeah, like if you're, this guy's <laughs> fighting and you just, <laughs> just run in. Tag in. in? Yeah. Like what is? <laughs> no, like other sports, there's ten weight classes, ten okay. starters. So I was the backup to Tyler Small, and when he was academically ineligible, I would start. How often okay. was that? It was just one semester. He's a smart guy. I don't know how that happened. But once, like, once you have your guys for the match. Then you guys, you're, you have the guys for the match. You, you can't like come off the bench in a match. Kind of can. You can weigh in two guys at the same weight class to kind of trick. Oh, who really? You're send out what? Yeah, yeah. But there I should, would go. There should and, be like a there should be like a team event in wrestling, like an actual mm-hmm. team, like a like it's all you, you it's t- tag team. I'm describing tag team. Wrestling. No, no, there should I th- be tag team. I think they should just have two guys wrestling on this. The four guys wrestling on the same yeah. mat. But like you're not allowed to touch the other guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wrestling was so boring that in order to sell tickets and market the event, we would combine the same gym, res- a wrestling match, a gymnastics meet, mm. and a uh, like a volleyball. All at the same time? Get, yeah, to get people in the stands. So volleyball was happening as you were wrestling? The gymnastics, yeah. And I made up volleyball. but Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who were the what girls like teams did the wrestlers hang out with? Was it gymnastics? gymnastics. Yeah, yeah, just similar same, builds. Same people, yeah, yeah. What uh, what sport do you wish you would have been good at? Like wrestling. I- <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing I wanted more that was to be a successful college. Well, but when you got to college and you observed like all the other athletes on campus, was there a part of you that was like, damn, dude, I should have gotten into track and field. They seem to have a sick life, or like. Damn, those soccer dudes. Kent State, there was no, like, team. There was no, like, benefits, like, perks of yeah. being an athlete. So, like, a, the quarterback wasn't, it wasn't. No, no, I don't even remember the quarterback. It was just Dre Archer because he was, like, an NFL talent. Yeah. And then the frat guys. Were That's like, crazy for a pretty big undergrad population school, though. Yeah, just, like, Mac. Like, yeah. Yeah. What, what about you, Mark? Football? Obviously. Yeah, probably football. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Um, basketball. I don't know. Football close. sucks though. Football. I played football in high school, and I used to just get my brain smeared, like just yeah. fucking smoked. And I would always just like lay there, think, "What the fuck am I doing?" I, I played quarterback, and I remember my senior year, uh, we're playing in the state tournament, and it's like 23 degrees and raining, and I'm I'm supposed to be like the leader of the team and like rallying the boys and like let's go fucking kick their ass and fucking take state and all that. And I walk out of the locker room and it's cold and rainy. And I was like, I just want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> like, I do not want to. <laughs> yeah. It just sucks, dude. What are we doing? Yeah. Um, that would, yeah, miserable. I don't know. Being, being good at football would be cool, but I'm a I think gigantic pussy. Football, and like being a no non star in football is probably the, the worst experience. Yeah, dude. It, it sucked. It, it just like getting sacked is like the worst thing ever. You're just yeah. like dropping. You're like, I, I, I just want to imagine every time I'm just I trying to throw a football and this guy just. <laughs> like, I would be rocks. so mad at my team. I would dude, hate my yeah. teammates oh. for letting that happen. I was so bad. I was so bad. I could throw a football well. That's all I could do. I was such wait, a bad quarterback. So you were a quarterback, a starting yeah, quarterback. But I was I was good at like what wait, I was. Wait, re- no, you were good. I remember seeing like a newspaper headline. You took your team to like the We be yeah, I was I so was, you weren't bad. I what wasn't bad. Headline? Were you were you on the Wikipedia too? Uh, yeah, I've done no, research about you. I was a bad quarterback. <laughs> I, I was a good thrower of a football. So I could like drop back. I'm 6'4 and I had like a strong arm. And like in high school, if 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 a guy's like running a streak, I could fucking bomb it to him and, and hit him in stride. But as far as like reading defenses, there'd be times I'm like lining up under center. And I'm I'm just like looking at a bunch of dudes, and I'm like I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't even know who I don't yeah. know. But you had to have, have some some games as a high school starting quarterback where you blew the team out and you were the star. With yeah, I had I had some good games. Yeah, yeah. That's but I, probably a tremendous feeling. It feel, uh, yeah yeah. But the, that feeling did not make up for like the every so point. often you drop back and you see a guy open and you're going to throw it and then just. You just feel like your ribs crunch and <laughs> you have no idea what yeah. happened. You're, when I watch it in the NFL, I just can't imagine how they keep they, they it's get crazy. They're they're are they gonna die like some of the, some modern quarterbacks? Are they gonna eventually die from that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. see that you did the yeah exactly like Titus I did? See, yeah, I know I do that. I, and I'm very caught like I know exactly I'm sorry, when dude. I, do. I just no. shouldn't have put that in your head. I, I, I mean it's I not too embarrassing to say it's yeah. not embarrassing. it's not even it's not seeing somebody do a really good impression of you, it does something to you. Yeah, it fucks you up and I, I apologize. No, no, I no. Really my, bu- my buddy Josh Varner, 
does a really good impression of me. I nod a lot and I like will like add on. Do, no, 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 do, no, 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 no. Can you uh do his impression of you right now? I think do an I impression am. of his. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's pretty good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. God damn, he's good. What, what, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, he's good. Yeah, he's damn good. <laughs> he's damn good. Uh, oh, what else we got going on? I have a. Uh, I know you guys don't do untold stories. Not anymore, have, really. All right, well, I didn't, never mind. Do it. No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. A, I have a new untold story about my anus. That's what why the I fuck? felt really. Like do you have, do you yeah. have a hemorrhoid? I actually, I actually, I do have a hemorrhoid right now. Yeah, this isn't the story. You do. But I do. You, oh, you've yeah. had a hemorrhoid for like three years. Yeah, I don't know how or why I have a hemorrhoid because I'm not. I haven't been pushing. I haven't been sitting on the toilet for long. I've gotten hemorrhoids in the past, and I've looked back and I've been. I've studied the tape, and I'm like, Mark, you did it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're sitting on the toilet too long again. Uh, this one, I don't know what I did. I don't know how. It, Were you lifting? Is there, yeah. Does that happen? Yeah. You're lifting heavy weight. Or you're saying then, it, you you felt it erupt. <laughs> <laughs> or i'm become. saying the last like i would say six to ten shits i've taken it's a little stingy a little stingy a little stingy you know uh -huh. yeah. uh maybe it's some, because it's my baseline but i'm just so used to it that it's a net positive yeah I, and i don't know what's going on because i've been pretty i've been pretty on top of it um no my story though i got fingered in the asshole oh at yeah, Target. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Where I paid fifty dollars for someone to finger me in the asshole in a Target off of Jefferson Boulevard in Los Angeles. Uh, this was wait a minute, M Mark. About a year and a half ago. Um, <laughs> true story. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sounds true. Um, yeah, I uh, I got a prostate exam. Okay, but I got but the, I got my tar first at Target. I got my very first and only prostate exam I've gotten in my life at a Target. You got a Target? Target? Target has a proctologist. Uh, no, it was like I don't even know. <laughs> That's why it's a fun story. I don't even know who it was. But you weren't <laughs> you weren't like struggling. Uh so I uh it, it uh the, the I was pissing a lot and it it was starting to sting and ah. I it's the first time that that ever happened to me and I was like I don't think I have, like I've, I've been in the same relationship for a while so you're starting to have that uncomfortable conversation with your girlfriend where you're like all right um, it it stings to piss like is this you and then she's like huh or maybe it's you and like we're pointing you know yeah one of those um and then I realized it's probably just a UTI, but I've I've never gotten it. Like dudes don't get UTIs, no, not like us. that. Like it's very rare. You have never. I, I I think I may have. I guess I wouldn't know, but no. yeah, dude, I've never I never gotten a UTI Rudy, before in my life. If you never got a UTI. Come on. No, I get the real deal. The, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's only one real deal, buddy. Chlamydia. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. uh I, I don't do anything about it for like three or four days. Day like five, I'm like, this fucking hurts, dude. Like every time I'm pissing, it's like really hurting. Um, and I was like, I got to go get this taken care of. And I need to get taken care of now. Uh, I couldn't get in anywhere. Nowhere would like, I, 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 I asked my girlfriend, I was like, she's like, I think you have a UTI and, and women get them all the time. She's like, all you got to do is just go get like a prescription. You get it taken care of. Uh, so I was like, how do I do that? She goes, just go make an appointment somewhere and go to like a minute clinic. Couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, except for like, there was this like outpatient type. I, I don't know what the fuck you would call it at a target <laughs> like, at, at an actual target. Yeah. Like at a plate, like they check your blood pressure and shit like that. And, and, and I called them and I was like, can you guys write prescriptions? And they're like, yeah, what's going on? I was like, I think I have a UTI. And they're like, yeah, come on in. We'll write you a prescription. So I went in and, uh, they asked me what the problem was. I was like, it's kind of stings when I piss. I'm pretty sure it's a UTI. And they're like, is it an STD? And I was like, I don't think so. Um, but we can do the test, whatever. I piss in the cup. Um, they're, they're like, we'll run this, all that sort of thing. And then the lady asked, uh, I, I meet with like a nurse practitioner maybe it was. And she goes, do you have a history of prostate problems in your family? My dad just had prostate cancer. Like, Oh my God. Two year, like he just had. So yeah, that's obviously running through your head. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I guess I do. And she goes, have you ever had a prostate exam? And I said, no. And she's like, we're going to have to do that today. Oh, we're going to have to do it right now. And then uh, I was like, well, fuck, I guess I, I am kind of getting of that. I'm 36, you know, usually you're around 40. I was like, fuck, I guess we're going to have to do that. And then she goes, uh, all right, so what I'm going to need you to do, or, or she said something like, uh, you you don't have to, don't worry, you don't have to pull your pants all, what she said was, you don't have to pull your she pants all the, the way jeans? down. Wait, what? Right, so I heard that, and what I had heard was, you don't have to pull your pants down. What she had said was, you don't have to pull your pants all the way down. 
Why would so, she even say that? She didn't want to see the back of your calves. So she said we were doing a prostate exam and you don't have to pull. I heard you don't have to pull your pants down. I was like, oh, this will be easy. Like maybe there's a technology. They're just going to like MRI. Yeah. Just press the my cheeks. asshole and like, you know, oh, and we'll get out of here. Far from the truth. And yeah, she walks in, just throws a rubber glove on, lubes it up. Yeah. She did it. So you, did it like you have real a prostate fast. check. Real fast. You got one under your, in and out. All right. Fucking so, tosses two paper. She, she fingers the asshole real quick. Uh, pulls it out, tosses two paper towels at me, and just goes, "I'll meet you out front." And then I walk out front. She's like, "That's fifty dollars." <laughs> I was like, "What a what a wild experience!" So, so it's not painful, is it? Like, shocking or un- no? It's all it is all mental. It's, it's all, all mental. mental. But like, yeah. can you get the appeal? <laughs> I did get turned on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought when you were like saying they like, do blood pressure, like they have the cuff thing in there. That'd be funny if there was just, like there's a prostate cuff. one next to no, it. No, I mean like that <laughs> was sit on a chair. And just... That was the type of like medical facility I thought I was going to. Was like all they were allowed to do was just like check your blood pressure and there's have you no stand way on scale. at a Target. And so it was just yeah, it was so just was a lady. Like, were, was she like, wearing a red shirt? Even when she said you had to do a prostate, <laughs> yeah, right. You're right. <laughs> When she said you got to get a prostate exam, I was like, so are you going to refer me to somewhere else? How like, close were you to the Starbucks? In the <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. You can pay for that with reward yeah. points. Yeah. You, you pissed in like a grande Starbucks cup. Yeah. So that's anyway. a, that's a thank you for sharing that. And it wasn't yeah, bad. And it turned out all right. I've never told that story before. I feel like so, and it just and it was an STD, right? Yeah, it was. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was gonorrhea the whole time. Uh, Rudy, you've had chlamydia twice, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, guys. That's a new untold story. (laughs) Thanks for listening.